I probably didn't realise I was feeling unwell until um, I went out for lunch with a friend and her mum. And um, my friend's mum had had suffered from a thyroid problem in the past. And when I got home from lunch, my friend phoned me and said, I don't want to worry you, but mum thinks you should go to the doctors and have a look because you've got a bit of a swollen neck. Um, so I looked in the mirror and obviously noticed that my neck was quite swollen on one side. So I made an appointment to go to see the doctor. And as soon as I walked in and explained um, the symptoms, he said, you've probably got an overactive thyroid. There are things that I've noticed now that I was diagnosed with an overactive thyroid that I probably didn't notice at the time. I had a lot of energy. I was probably going to the gym, you know, three, four mornings a week before work. I was very hot all the time and joked one day at work that I thought I was going through the menopause. When I washed my hair, a lot of hair was coming out. My nails were really brittle. So these are things that I noticed. And then once I was diagnosed, I then realised and linked them all to it being my thyroid. Before I was diagnosed, I didn't know anything about thyroid disease. I'd heard that people had underactive thyroids. People associated that with weight gain or were very tired, but I didn't know that there was the other side of it. I didn't realise that you could get an overactive thyroid. I was a bit of a nightmare to live with when I was before I was diagnosed, um, because obviously you're quite stressed with it, so you have no idea, you know, because everything's you fly off the handle at the slightest thing. So uh, my husband would probably say I was a bit of a nightmare to live with at first, um, but once I was diagnosed, it was fine. It was all under control. I started on an initial drug that was um, that would bring down um, my thyroid level and bring it to normal. Um, I was then put on a drug called PTU um, because I was trying to get pregnant and um, it's a drug that's safe to um, become pregnant on. Uh, I was on that for a couple of years while I was trying to get pregnant um, and then unfortunately I was still overactive. Um, so the only option that I had was to have a total thyroidectomy. Um, so they just removed my thyroid. Um, and now I'm on a drug called thyroxine, which um, just keeps my levels normal and it's a safe, natural drug. Initially, the, uh, the impact of being on a treatment for the rest of your life is quite daunting, but I'd much rather take a drug that's going to keep me well and healthy um, than suffer from hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism again. When I became pregnant, um, and obviously while I was trying to get pregnant, I knew that the thyroid condition could affect um, the growth and development of the baby. Um, and obviously it was a concern that I had. My GP had always said it affects the development of the brain and also sometimes the growth of the actual baby. I don't think the fact that I had thyroid disease affected my pregnancy at all. They just monitored me very closely. They upped the levels um, of the thyroxine that I was taking. And um, I had sort of a scan at 28 weeks just to check the development and growth of the baby. Beth and Lucas went very well, all fine, long labor, but they monitored me really closely because of my thyroid. There's always gonna be a risk of Lucas developing thyroid disease because it is an hereditary disease. There are people in my family that have it, but he's been tested for it and he's fine. So I'm just gonna to have to always be wary of it and keep an eye on him. Thyroid problems can affect young children because obviously um, it's going to have an impact if they're if they're sort of tired or um, lacking of energy and things like that. Then it can affect them obviously at school and their learning. And if there are any growth issues, it's going to have an effect. I think it's very important that women understand the symptoms of thyroid disease. When you're pregnant, there are a lot of changes in your body anyway. But I think you generally know if there is something that's not quite right. So I think it's very important that you go to the doctors just to have a blood test and just to rule it out.
Ich war ständig sehr müde. Mir fehlte die Kraft, um die normalsten Alltagsdinge zu tun. Ich war sehr antriebslos und sehr geschafft und schlapp. Ich fühlte mich einfach nicht, nicht wohl in meiner Haut. Diagnostiziert wurde die Krankheit Anfang letzten Jahres vom Arzt, nachdem ich schon mehrmals von einem anderen Doktor abgewimmelt wurde, dass ich doch mehr Sport machen soll und mich mehr bewegen soll. Mein Arzt letztes Jahr hat dann eine Blutuntersuchung gemacht und da wurde diagnostiziert, dass ich an einer Schilddrüsenunterfunktion leide. Jetzt, wo ich weiß, was ich habe, bin ich auch ähm, glücklich darüber, weil wir auch was dagegen unternehmen können. Meine Brüder und meine Freunde hatten den Spitznamen die Qualle für mich, weil ich mich gern irgendwo hingesetzt habe und am liebsten da geblieben bin, wie mit Saugknöpfen festgesaugt. Und jetzt, wo ich die Behandlung habe, fühle ich mich einfach viel frischer und aktiver und kann viel mehr mit ihnen machen. Mit der Behandlung fühle ich mich sehr gut. Ich bin wacher, ich bin fitter, ich kann mehr unternehmen. Alles, was sich verändert hat, ist durchaus positiv für mich und meinen Körper. Diagnostiziert wurde die Krankheit schon mal vor meiner Schwangerschaft, ein paar Monate. Und als ich dann schwanger wurde, hat meine Ärztin mir dringend geraten, die mit der Behandlung anzufangen, weil es gefährlich fürs Baby sein kann, weil es die ersten Monate noch keine eigenen Schilddrüsenhormone produzieren kann und auf die der Mutter angewiesen ist. Und ähm, daraufhin habe ich auch angefangen, die Tabletten zu nehmen. Und ich fühle mich sehr gut damit. Wenn mein Baby dann geboren ist, werde ich auf jeden Fall mit der Behandlung weitermachen, wenn es nötig ist. Und ich möchte auch gerne mein Baby untersuchen lassen, ob da auch alles in Ordnung ist. Also ich denke, es ist sehr wichtig, dass man die Erkrankung auch wirklich ernst nimmt, weil es für das Baby auch gerade in der Schwangerschaft sehr gefährlich sein kann. Und man fühlt sich selber einfach auch viel besser. Und wenn es der Mama gut geht, dann geht es ja dem Baby meistens auch gut. Ich kann jeder Frau nur raten, die ähnliche Symptome hat, zum Arzt zu gehen und sich untersuchen zu lassen, ob sie vielleicht an einer Schilddrüsenerkrankung leidet. Vor allem auch in der Schwangerschaft ist es ja wirklich wichtig, dass man sich da wirklich verantwortungsvoll damit beschäftigt mit dem Thema, weil es ums Baby geht. Es, ich würde mir wirklich Vorwürfe machen, hätte ich mich nicht drum gekümmert und hätte ich die Tabletten jetzt auch nicht genommen, weil ich damit meinem Baby wirklich auch Schaden zugefügt hätte.